The Galileo System Control topology begins with the Galileo processor, connected to your video wall. Also connected are video sources via direct or baseband video inputs. The processor is connected to a local area network, a LAN, or a wide area network known as a WAN. This allows control from the Galileo control clients, or the built-in web client, or even a third-party controller. Also connected are Galileo remote hosts for KVM and video control and IP sources that can be decoded directly on the Galileo processor. So Galileo accepts a wide range of video inputs directly on the processor and IP inputs for KVM control of remote hosts or decoding of other IP sources. Galileo also runs applications directly on the processor. Let's take a closer look at Galileo's remote host capabilities. The remote host connects to a LAN or WAN to the Galileo processor and will allow any client to view and or control that host. The Galileo control client also connects via the LAN or WAN to the Galileo processor. The control clients can view or control a remote host PC or another control client. So control client A can view a remote host shown on their local screen. And if desired, they can control the remote host with their own mouse and keyboard. Or they can also view and or control another client's computer. In this case, control client A is using their mouse and keyboard to control control client B's PC. Galileo offers easy IP KVM control right from the local display. Control clients can also place a remote host PC or another control client on the video wall for everyone to see. So control client A can drag and drop a remote host on the video wall. Or they can also drag and drop control client B's screen to the wall. And if desired, use their own mouse and keyboard to manipulate control client B's PC. This concludes the overview of the Galileo System Control Topology. You'll find much more information on our website. Thanks for watching.